Ignoring hair loss can be detrimental to your health because it could be a symptom of an underlying medical condition such as hormonal imbalances, nutritional deficiencies, thyroid problems, or autoimmune disorders. Addressing the root cause of hair loss early can prevent further health complications and improve overall well-being. Here are 11 health reasons why you are losing hair. Before we start, make sure you have subscribed our channel and the bell icon is turned on. Then let's get started. 1. Telogen effluvium. Telogen effluvium is a type of hair loss characterized by excessive shedding of hair due to a disruption in the hair growth cycle. Typically, a significant stressor triggers a large number of hair follicles to enter the telogen resting phase prematurely, leading to increased shedding about two to three months later. This results in diffuse hair thinning rather than bald patches. Once the underlying cause is addressed, hair growth usually resumes within a few months. Telogen effluvium affects hair loss by disrupting the normal hair growth cycle. Normally, hair follicles go through three phases, anagen growth, catagen transition, and telogen resting. Around 10 to 15% of scalp hair is in the telogen phase at any given time, and it's normal to shed around 50 to 100 hairs per day. However, when a significant stressor, such as childbirth, illness, surgery, rapid weight loss, emotional stress, or certain medications disrupt this cycle, a larger number of hair follicles can enter the telogen phase simultaneously. This results in increased shedding and noticeable thinning of the hair, known as telogen effluvium. It's important to address the underlying cause to help restore normal hair growth. 2. Protein Malnutrition Protein malnutrition can lead to hair loss because hair is primarily made up of a protein called keratin. When the body lacks sufficient protein, it prioritizes essential functions over non-essential ones like hair growth. As a result, hair growth slows down and existing hair may become weak and brittle, leading to increased shedding and hair loss. Protein is essential for the growth and maintenance of various tissues in the body, including hair. When there is a deficiency in protein intake, the body doesn't have enough building blocks to support the production of keratin, the protein that makes up hair strands. As a result, hair growth may slow down and existing hair follicles may enter a resting phase known as telogen. This can lead to increased shedding and noticeable hair loss over time. Additionally, protein deficiency can weaken hair strands, making them more prone to breakage and further contributing to hair loss. Therefore, ensuring an adequate intake of protein through a balanced diet is crucial for maintaining healthy hair growth and preventing hair loss. 3. Polycystic Ovaries Syndrome Polycystic ovary syndrome PCOS can lead to hair loss through several mechanisms. One main reason is the hormonal imbalance it causes, particularly elevated levels of androgens male hormones such as testosterone. This hormonal imbalance can lead to an increase in a form of testosterone called dihydrotestosterone DHT, which can shrink hair follicles, resulting in thinner hair and eventually hair loss. Additionally, insulin resistance, which is common in PCOS, can lead to higher insulin levels in the bloodstream, which can also contribute to hair thinning and loss. PCOS-induced hair loss is a complex interplay of hormonal imbalances, increased androgen sensitivity, disrupted hair growth cycles, and excess scalp sebum production, all of which contribute to the gradual thinning and loss of hair commonly observed in individuals with this condition. 4. Alopecia areata in alopecia areata, the immune system mistakenly identifies hair follicles as foreign invaders and launches an attack against them. This attack disrupts the normal growth cycle of hair, leading to hair loss. Normally, hair follicles go through a cycle of growth, rest, and shedding. Individuals with alopecia areata, the immune system attack causes the hair follicles to prematurely enter the resting phase, called telogen, and subsequently, the hair falls out. While the exact triggers for this autoimmune response are not fully understood, factors such as genetics, environmental factors, and abnormalities in the immune system are believed to play a role in its development. Additionally, stress and other psychological factors may exacerbate the condition in some individuals. The extent and pattern of hair loss can vary widely among affected individuals, ranging from small, coin-sized patches to complete loss of scalp or body hair. Treatment options for alopecia areata include topical medications, injections, and sometimes systemic therapies aimed at suppressing the autoimmune response and promoting hair regrowth. 5. Lupus Lupus is an autoimmune disease where the body's immune system mistakenly attacks its own tissues. In the case of lupus hair loss, this immune response targets the hair follicles, leading to inflammation and damage. 
The inflammation disrupts the normal hair growth cycle, causing hair to become brittle, thin, and fall out more easily. Additionally, some medications used to manage lupus, such as corticosteroids, can also contribute to hair loss as a side effect. The combination of immune system dysfunction, inflammation, and medication side effects can all contribute to the hair loss experienced by individuals with lupus. 6. Thyroid disorders. Thyroid disorders, such as hypothyroidism, underactive thyroid, and hyperthyroidism, overactive thyroid, can cause hair loss due to hormonal imbalances. In hypothyroidism, the thyroid gland doesn't produce enough thyroid hormones, leading to a slowdown in metabolism. This can disrupt the hair growth cycle, resulting in hair becoming thin, dry, and brittle, and eventually falling out more easily. On the other hand, in hyperthyroidism, the thyroid gland produces an excess of thyroid hormones, speeding up metabolism. This can also disrupt the hair growth cycle, causing hair to become thin and brittle and leading to increased shedding. Both hypothyroidism and hyperthyroidism can result in telogen effluvium, a condition where a large number of hair follicles enter the resting phase prematurely, causing significant hair loss. Additionally, autoimmune thyroid disorders like Hashimoto's thyroiditis associated with hypothyroidism and Graves' disease associated with hyperthyroidism can lead to hair loss as the immune system attacks the thyroid gland and, in some cases, other tissues including hair follicles. 7. Iron Deficiency Anemia Iron deficiency anemia can cause hair loss because iron is essential for healthy hair growth. Iron plays a crucial role in the production of hemoglobin, which carries oxygen to the body's tissues, including the hair follicles. When there's a lack of iron in the body, it can lead to reduced oxygen supply to the hair follicles, affecting their growth and leading to hair thinning and shedding. Furthermore, iron deficiency can disrupt the normal hair growth cycle, causing more hairs to enter the resting phase telogen prematurely, resulting in increased hair loss. This type of hair loss is often reversible once iron levels are restored through dietary changes or iron supplementation. However, it's essential to address the underlying iron deficiency to promote healthy hair growth and overall well-being. 8. Seborrheic Dermatitis the inflammatory response associated with seborrheic dermatitis can affect hair follicles, leading to weakening and shedding of hair. The flaking, itching, and redness associated with seborrheic dermatitis can cause physical damage to the scalp, disrupting hair growth cycles and leading to hair loss. Seborrheic dermatitis is often associated with the overgrowth of a yeast-like fungus called malassezia. This fungus can affect the health of the scalp and hair follicles, contributing to hair loss. Seborrheic dermatitis is characterized by an overproduction of sebum, the skin's natural oil. This excess oil can clog hair follicles and interfere with normal hair growth. 9. Vitamin D Deficiency Vitamin D plays a role in the regulation of the hair growth cycle. A deficiency in vitamin D can disrupt this cycle, leading to premature shedding of hair and inhibited hair growth. Vitamin D is essential for the absorption of calcium, which is important for hair follicle health and growth. A deficiency in vitamin D can lead to reduced calcium absorption, potentially compromising the health of the hair follicles. Vitamin D deficiency has been associated with increased inflammation in the body. Chronic inflammation can disrupt the normal functioning of hair follicles and contribute to hair loss. 10. Ringworm Ringworm is highly contagious and can spread through direct contact with an infected person or animal, or by coming into contact with contaminated objects or surfaces. This easy transmission facilitates the spread of the infection to other areas of the scalp, exacerbating hair loss. The body's immune response to the fungal infection can also contribute to hair loss. Inflammation and immune activity aimed at fighting off the fungus can inadvertently damage hair follicles, leading to hair loss. Scratching the itchy, inflamed areas of the scalp caused by ringworm can create openings in the skin, making it more susceptible to secondary bacterial infections. These secondary infections can further damage the hair follicles and exacerbate hair loss. Delaying treatment for ringworm can allow the infection to spread and worsen, increasing the likelihood of hair loss. Seeking prompt medical attention and starting appropriate antifungal treatment can help prevent further hair loss and promote healing. Certain factors can increase the risk of developing ringworm and experiencing hair loss, such as poor hygiene, sharing personal items like combs or hats, living in crowded or unsanitary conditions, and having a weakened immune system. 11. Scalp psoriasis Scalp psoriasis is characterized by inflammation, which can disrupt the normal functioning of hair follicles. 
This inflammation can interfere with the hair growth cycle, leading to weakened hair shafts and eventual hair loss. Itching is a common symptom of scalp psoriasis, and individuals may scratch their scalp vigorously to alleviate discomfort. However, frequent scratching can damage the hair follicles and weaken the hair shafts, resulting in hair loss. Psoriasis causes the rapid turnover of skin cells, leading to the formation of thick, scaly patches on the scalp. This buildup of scales can suffocate hair follicles, impairing their ability to produce healthy hair. Dealing with the visible symptoms of scalp psoriasis, such as flaking and redness, can cause significant psychological stress for individuals. Chronic stress is known to contribute to hair loss through various mechanisms, including hormonal imbalances and immune system dysregulation. Some treatments for scalp psoriasis, such as potent topical corticosteroids or systemic medications, may have side effects that affect hair growth. For example, certain medications can disrupt hormone levels or cause temporary hair shedding as a side effect. In some cases, scalp psoriasis may be associated with underlying medical conditions, such as autoimmune disorders or hormonal imbalances, which can also contribute to hair loss. Hair loss can have significant impacts on one's self-esteem. Hair loss can be caused by various factors such as genetics, hormonal changes, medical conditions, or certain medications. Treating health problems related to hair loss is important because it can help address the underlying causes and potentially slow down or reverse the loss of hair. Additionally, managing these health issues can improve overall well-being and self-confidence. It's advisable to consult with a healthcare professional to determine the most appropriate treatment for your specific situation. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos.